hello guys hi guys welcome we are going to be making this trending kaftan or trending kimono now this is what i have the first thing we have to do is to go ahead and fold our fabric into four go ahead and fold your fabric into four making use of your measurements now i know you might want to ask me that how will i know the measurements to use for the folding it's simply your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurements your shoulder plus your sleeve measurements so this is what i have so for me my shoulder plus my sleeve measurements i have 20 inches then i'm going to go ahead and add two inches for the sewing allowance because we're going to fold both sides i have 22 inches for the wideness so that is why i have 22 inches for my wideness and i have my length of course we are going to be mixing this kimono with this lace fabric to give us our trending style so now once we are done the next thing i are going to do now is to go ahead and measure your neckline so for us the wideness of our neckline we are going to make use of three inches for the wideness of the neckline we have three inches for the wideness of the neckline and for the deepness we are going to make use of six inches we are going to make use of six inches for the deepness now what we want to achieve is a v neckline i'm going to is a v shape neckline i'm going to make use of my pattern master to connect our neckline so that we can have a very defined neckline so this is what we have note that you can decide how deep you want your neckline to be so you can take it a bit deeper or you can raise it up and this is for the front block please don't make mistake to cut your v-neck also on the back block please don't make that mistake to cut it also on the back block right so this is what we have for our front block so i'll go ahead now and cut this out while i'm cutting this i'm going to be explaining to you guys two ways in which you can take the body measurement there are two ways in which you can take the body measurement for the wideness of this kimono there are two ways in which you can achieve that so the first way is to the first way is to have your shoulder measurement so your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement that is the first way to achieve that your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement so the first way is your shoulder plus your sleeve the second way you can achieve that is to take the measurement together when i mean take the measurement together i mean take your measurements from your shoulder up to your sleeve length you know so i've gone ahead to open this part so that i can take out the front block away from the back block so i don't mistakenly cut you know the v-neck also at the back block if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please drop your questions in the comment section so i've gone ahead now to cut out our v-shape and this is what we are going to have so let me open this up what we have you can see you can see what it looks like this is what we have you can see the v shape right this is what we have so you can decide to make yours deeper or you can decide to make yours wider so this is what we have for the front block now for the back block now for the back block just cut out one for the back block just cut out one inch away from the neckline the back block doesn't really have you know so much it is the front block that has a lot so let's set this aside now the next thing we are going to do now is to take our matching fabric or the fabric we are going to use to mix for our kimono now you can make use of you know net fabrics you can make use of lace you can make use of anything but most times it's usually different from the main fabric itself so that it can give it that highlight or defined you know shape so now the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to fold it into two we are going to fold it into two any fabric you are using for this 
you know you're gonna have the same effect fold this into two now pick up your front block so fold the defined fabric into two and then Fold it into two, and once you are done folding it into two, you go ahead with your front block now. Place your front block on it. Place your front block on it this way. Place your front block on it this way, and then you cut this out. Place your front block on it. So we are basically using this as what? We are using it as facing. We are using it as a form of facing. We are using it as a form of what? Facing. So cut. Right? So we're going to head now to cut the neckline. So we've gone ahead now to cut the neckline. So this is where we have the basic work or the major work. You can see that we have our V neckline also for this extra piece. We have our V neckline also for this extra piece. Now, because this tutorial is a beginner friendly tutorial, I'm just going to show you the easiest way to achieve this. The easiest way to achieve this. Place your your second fabric this is the easiest way to achieve this place your detailed fabric like place the new fabric or what okay let's name this new fabric and this is the main fabric so place this main fab new fabric on the main fabric right this is what we have so it gives you this way it gives you a shape or an highlight of what you want to achieve it gives you an highlight of what you want to achieve and men looking at it like this you also agree with me like you can figure out how cute it's going to be at the end of the day you can have like a picture of what you are going to have now the next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and measure the length that you want this um, new fabric to be the length of the new fabric you know how long do you want this new fabric to be so for us now we are just going to so for us we are going to make use of i think 15 inches is okay we can go deeper it all depends on what we want right at this point now it's all at this point this is where you need your creativity you have to be creative at this point so the length depends on you and also because one part of it is shorter than one part so you have one part which is longer and then you have a part which is shorter right so what we are going to do now is mark where you want to be shorter so let's use 10 okay let's use 10 inches for the short part i don't know if you guys can see it so let's use 10 inches for the short part now for the long part of it let's go ahead and use 18 inches let's go ahead and use 18 inches so we have 18 inches here and we have 10 inches here we have 18 inches here and we have 10 inches now what you are basically going to do now is you are simply going to connect this making use of a slant line Make it of a slant line. If you are not very good with creating slant line, you can use a ruler. You know, you can use a ruler to get that slant shape effect. Because the beauty is to be able to see how slant the shape is, right? How slant the shape is. So I'm going to go down a bit now because I want it to be really shapey. So just go ahead now and get your slant shape. You can see that this is beginners friendly go ahead and get your slant shape you can see the slant shape 
so this is basically what it looks like you just have like your straight your slant shape and then you have the straight point so what we are going to do now is just to go ahead and cut this out at this point please make sure you don't cut your main fabric alongside with it you have to be very careful you can see that i, I raised it up because i'm sure you don't want to mistakenly cut out the main fabric also so please be careful at this point you know so now we've cut this out can you see the shape of what we have can you see the shape of what we have you can see how slant or the slant effect that we have because of the way we're able to slant it so this is what we have for the front block now what we are going to do now is we are going to sew this you are going to take your new fabric you are going to sew it from the back especially the neckline because we are using this to turn the neckline so sew this neck part at the back and then flip it to the front i don't know if you guys understand why i just said now but let me say it again the first thing we are going to do is to sew the neckline right you can't sew it this way because this neckline is not going to be smooth you're not going to have a neat finishing even though you can see the effect how cute what we what we have is right but then you can't sew it on the front this way so what you are going to do is you are going to use this um, new fabric which is our lace to turn it the other way so first thing is you sew it from the back you are sewing only the neckline only the neckline and then you flip it to the front so once i'm done sewing that i will definitely 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 show you guys what i have so what is your thoughts now on this do you think it's cute so we are going to move to the back block now but if you have any question at this point please ask me i've gone ahead now to turn it this is what we have you can see how cute uh, the neckline is you can see the shape of what it looks like after turning it to the front the other thing also i've gone ahead to do is to join the shoulders together i've also gone ahead to join my shoulders and also you will go ahead and m the edges of your booboo so you m this part and you also m this part now the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and get our measurement so one thing about booboo dress which is like different from you can see how cute the shape is please give this video a thumbs up one thing that is different let me show you guys the back block you can see how what the back block and see what we have i just did like a squared shape so the next thing we are going to do is to take our measurement one thing about booboo which is different from you know other dresses is that for booboo the measurement is usually at the front right you are stitching directly on the fabric the front part of the fabric right so now we'll take our basic measurements our shoulder to bust this is our shoulder shoulder to bust we have nine inches it simply means we're not going to stitch here because this will serve as a sleeve opening we have nine inches bust to waist we have eight inches so just in case before you ask me how you know your bust to waist, waist to hip, I have a detailed video on size charts. I'm going to link it in the description box below. So we have waist to hip, we have 9 inches. Waist to hip, we have 9 inches. And of course we have our gown length this way. Now we are going to go ahead now and take our bust. Our bust is 40. So 40 divided by 4, we have 10 inches. So I'm going to add one inch for ease because booboo is always very fitted. So I'm going to have 11 inches. Now for the waist, I'm going to have 32. 32 divided by 4, I'm going to have 8. I'm also going to add one inch for ease. I'm going to have 9 inches, right? Now for our hip, we have 40 inches. 40 divided by four we have 10 i'm also going to add one inch for ease and then i have 11 inches so i'll just go ahead and connect it 
this way now one thing also about boobies that you are not going to stitch it all the way down and the reason why you are not stitching it all the way down is for the sake of ease so i'm going to stop stitching around my knee area so my waist to hip my waist to hip is nine inches and waist to knee length i have 18 inches or you can just do your short gown length which is 35 inches you're going to have the same thing so waist to knee length we have 17 inches so i'm going to stop stitching at this point so that here is going to be free i'm going to stop stitching at this point why here i'm not going to stitch here for ease now just go ahead and connect what you have here also because it's booboo -boo dress we are going to mark all what we have here on the other side so that we can stitch it directly on the fabric so let's go ahead now our shoulder to bust we have nine inches shoulder to bust nine inches bust to waist we have eight inches waist to knee we waist to hip rather we have nine inches right so this is the measurement so let's take our bust measurement for our bust measurement we have 10 plus 1 we have 11 inches our waist which is 32 8 plus 1 we max 9 inches our hip is 40 divided by 4 we have 10 plus 1 for ease we have 11 inches also we are also going to take our waist to knee length which is 18 inches and this is where we are basically going to stop stitching so go ahead now and connect it together so go ahead now and connect it together so now after taking the measurements let's open this up let's open this up and let me show you guys what i have let's open this let me show you guys what i have so we are going to stitch on the fabric you are stitching on the fabric you can see i marked the measurements on the front part of the fabric right so go ahead now and stitch this part where we have our chalk and also stitch this part on the fabric this way and don't forget we are stopping on the knee because of what we are stopping on the knee because of what is around the lower part so once i'm done stitching it the next thing i'll just go ahead and do now is to go ahead and m the lower part of our booboo go ahead and m the lower part of our booboo and of course our booboo dress is ready